the front of his shirt was torn and soaked with blood. The speed wolf sneered and lifted his claws stained with fresh blood, then stuck out his tongue and licked them as if mocking him. I didn't expect you to react so fast that you could dodge this move. You won't be so lucky next time. Duan Fei was silent and calm, using the system to heal his wound with the six-color therapy. His abdomen was completely recovered as before, only his shirt was torn and ragged. The wolf was angry and flew back. Humph, you think you can defeat me with that toy knife? Duan Fei used the purple knife in his hand to slash across his chest. The wound on his body had not healed for long before it turned red again. He kept attacking him from the front, laughing mockingly. Is this all your strength? It seems far inferior to that reindeer. He went crazy and his eyes turned red. He had provoked him and made him go berserk. A dark energy surrounded him. He crossed his hands as if gathering energy. When did he appear behind him and then kick him in the neck, making him fly away? He quickly rushed forward. The speed wolf held his head in pain and cursed on the ground. How did his speed suddenly increase so much? He came from the bushes but the wolf had anticipated this move and detected him. His sword pointed straight ahead, his eyes serious and focused on the target. He threw off one of his attacking arms and then disappeared behind him, his eyes shining. He grabbed his arm tightly and twisted it back. The speed wolf screamed in pain and arched his chest forward. He glanced back at the brat. You think you can beat me like that? He looked up at him with sharp eyes and challenged him. Do you want to try? The system activated the skill of swallowing people again and he emitted a terrifying energy. He transmitted it into his body, making him scream in pain. He shouted, What are you doing to me? Duan Fei suddenly looked down at a source of energy that burst out and broke half of the ground where he stood. From the cave of zombies, someone appeared at the front of the line. Duan Fei looked at his back and was annoyed. He almost killed him just now. The boss said to the female demon, gather energy and give it to him. I'll go over there and help him. That kid is a bit strange, he seems to have some special power. The balance of power gradually shifted to domination, no wonder the speed wolf was defeated. She replied, understood. The speed wolf was so embarrassed that he quickly moved to where he stood and said, the devil has lost patience, we have to fight quickly. The speed wolf was angry and bent over behind him, blaming himself for being careless just now. The speed wolf was surrounded by a dark energy like a ghost behind him, his eyes red and his teeth sharp. Today is your end, kid. He transformed into his second form, his fur turned green and a halo surrounded him, making him look powerful. Fight! Duan Fei widened his eyes in shock and watched as he pounced on him with his mouth open. The collision caused an earthquake and a blast of air like a bomb exploding. The dust cleared and Duan Fei jumped up in the air to avoid him. He blinked when he saw something like an illusion next to him, it was a hand with a faint halo in the sky that touched him lightly but made him hit the ground hard. His sword fell under the ground and he clenched his teeth to resist. Was this the boss of them? He had reached level A already. The situation now seemed difficult to use his power to increase his strength and shorten the distance. The boss smiled coldly, I didn't expect you to make me take action. The A-level analysis system of the S-level condensed air ability used the air pressure to attack him. He seemed to discover something and was shocked. There was a scream from the cave of the new demon. It seemed that the demon king had sensed something. A bird shadow appeared in the sky. It was a big and precious beast flying over. Xi and Yu and Anna clung to the fur of the beast and approached them. This place became more and more gloomy and desolate. It was only rocks and shadows of small people gathered in front of the new demon's door. A monster rushed out from somewhere. It roared loudly, had red eyes, a big belly, and sharp claws. A person with two beast gloves wondered what these things were. They were beaten for a long time and still did not die. 
their speed and strength were also very powerful. There was a glass bottle on its back containing some liquid. It kept coughing. Duan Fei was worried and clenched his teeth. He looked at his allies on the other side. They were more and more disadvantaged. The number of soldiers was decreasing. He had many things to do here. The name Speed Wolf roared and rushed to him. He scratched his head with his claws, but luckily he also pulled in time. Don't look anymore, you will be like those people soon. You will all die here. He put his bruised hand on the ground and kicked his legs around. He used his whole body on his arm and kicked him hard. He threw him back. He also activated his energy with that hand and created a stream of orange smoke. It burst into flames and he also flew up from there. He punched straight from below to above. His eyes glowed. His other hand was red with fire. He held a small knife behind his hand, took force, and stabbed the weapon into the opponent. He was surprised and widened his eyes. He stuck out his tongue and smiled smugly. It's a pity that you have come here enough, kid. His hand grabbed his hand hard. He had an invisible source of power in his hands that squeezed Duan Fei closer to him. He could not move and tried to struggle angrily. The evolution tree approached his ear and whispered to him to quickly get out of here or he would endanger his life. He was angry and replied that the power of level A was really strong like that. He made me have no space to deploy assassination. Speedwolf finished his work and came to the old man to report that he finally controlled the opponent. I hope you will crush him into sauce soon to avenge the reindeer. The old man's face was not normal. He raised both hands and clenched them in the sky. Then he said, I just felt a stream of power on him that seemed to be the demon king. Speedwolf looked up and objected that it must be wrong. How could this kid have anything to do with the demon king? Our demon king is still waiting for us to resurrect him. The sharp ice pieces flew forward and rushed to Duan Fei's place. He also seized the opportunity and the invisible hand separated from him. The inside had completely disappeared, only purple energy surrounded. Duan Fei landed in front of the commander and the illusion twin. He reassured them that he was fine and had called for rescue to support them. Speed Wolf blinked at the old man and asked what happened. The old man raised both hands trembling like a sieve and replied, Nothing, they are here already. Under the ground, there was a shadow of fur as big as a phoenix that made everyone on the ground look up in horror and worry. The commander Hua raised his head and looked at the object in the sky with dark eyes. A pair of orange legs, furry feathers, and sharp claws landed on the ground. Anna. Xi and Yu, and the little oriole bird stepped down from the majestic spirit beast, holding weapons to challenge the enemy. Number 41 and number 21 also appeared one after another. Number 21 smiled happily. This seems tense. We can attack freely this time. Number 41 frowned. Our mission this time is to protect Miss Anna. When asked about Haka, Xi and Yu said, she and Brotherly are on their way here. Duan Fei said, The mission of protecting the commander is entrusted to you. I will deal with these three original species. He was worried about whether he could handle the situation alone, but fortunately, he relied on the system to help him dissolve the clone image from 20% of his power and recover. He could also cope with them. The old man asked about the situation. How much energy has been collected? The little demonist said that the amount was enough and that the energy was being transported inside. That was the final stage. He ordered her and Phantom to catch the key. The others would deal with them as they pleased. Speed Wolf and he would take care of those guys. Anna was excited and courageous. Everyone has to help me teach these bastards a lesson for bullying brother Duan Fei and sister Haka. After this, I will treat you to French fries. Is that decided? Number 41 and 21 focused immediately in silence. 
Duan Fei looked ahead and reminded Xi and Yu to be careful because there was something strange about that Commander Hua. She obediently agreed with him. The two sides stood parallel in front of the store, facing each other seriously. The Tan Ma side not only had monsters but also brought along a bunch of weird demons. A huge zombie dog had brought a few more people into the battle. It seemed to stand on the side of humans. The situation changed again because more forces were added, so the flame of victory for humans was not extinguished yet. All these things happened after the war god arrived at the battlefield. Now the soldiers were very united and led by our war god. A girl with blue-green hair looked intently at the computer screen with food scattered on the table. After investigating, we finally found out the name of the war god. His name was Duan Fei, just a college student. The machine spoke loudly. She kept putting cakes in her mouth. The image of Duan Fei caught her eye and made her a little surprised and amazed. There was a knock on the door outside the room. She grumbled that this annoying guy came again. A guy named Dai Tuk stood outside the door and said, Miss Lan Kai, good evening. Have you decided yet? Lan Kai begged him to leave her alone. She wore a pad outside and hung a sign on it. You have bothered me for three days already. I have also said that I will not join any army and I do not want to leave here. Please go away. Dai Tuk said again, Miss Lan Kai. I also want what's best for you. If Tian Vong finds out, you won't be able to decide then. You don't have to join us, but your place has been discovered by them, so you need to leave right away. After hearing it, she still didn't believe what he said. The machine was still glowing and making sounds. The news mentioned Duan Fei's name. The uncle was shocked. He looked at the tablet in horror and saw Duan Fei in a direct conflict with the accident group. Xi and Yu was also there. Lan Kai asked him a little confusedly, Do you know the war god Duan Fei? Before he could explain, he was interrupted. She slammed the door and left him dumbfounded outside. He rubbed his head annoyedly. He had wasted his effort today. Xiao Van behind him told him to take her away without doing such troublesome work. But this method seemed a bit like Tian Wang. He was worried about Xi and Yu's situation. She closed her eyes and said, You go ahead. It seems that you care about that girl. Leave this side to me. The uncle's face darkened and he said seriously, Be careful. It seems that something serious has happened over there. A dark shadow appeared from behind. She spoke and made them jump. It was Lan Kentucky. She appeared with a majestic and beautiful appearance and said, I can join your group, but first take me to find Duan Fei. He was stunned by this transformation. Xiao Van ignored everyone and left. He said he would find the other people on the list with Hei Tao. He reminded her to come back if she encountered Tian Wang. On the other side, Speed Wolf continued to attack Duan Fei. He glanced at the image of a hand appearing behind him. When it hit him, he quickly moved to another direction. Speed Lan grabbed him as he jumped over and tried to pull him down. He shouted, Why are you running? A man should attack head on. He kept throwing punches at him, but he also dodged them in time. His hands had weapons and he raised them high in the sky. Duan Fei's face was dirty and he smiled calmly with a victorious look. The knife in his hand disappeared and he punched Speed Wolf's nose directly. The system announced that he hit the enemy's weak point and got 4% of the total 60% attribute. Speed Wolf flew forward and spat blood. His eyes were red and a cloud of dust surrounded him. He said angrily, Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance? You will pay for your actions. His claws were sharp and he attacked with energy. He was a bit dizzy but still managed to kick him in the side and hit another weak point for 4% of the total 64%. His mouth spat blood again and his eyes widened. An invisible hand appeared behind him again and tried to grab him. Duan Fei instinctively raised his hand to block it. 
Speed Wolf said, wait for me to rip your heart out, kid. He stared at him. A ball of energy exploded everywhere. The old man was shocked and didn't expect anyone to escape from this move. He gasped. A purple energy line rushed towards him. Luckily, he resisted it in time. He thought to himself, as expected, he chose to use Speed Wolf's attribute on his body. Duan Fei thought that now he could face them directly. The old man widened his eyes and looked at him with a bit of horror. He is called Speed Wolf. Duan Fei held his neck and reassured him that he was not dead yet. Right now, if he absorbed him, his attributes would probably disappear. Although absorbing the original dragon species might be stronger. There was no time to transform anymore. He wondered. Why didn't he absorb him? He let go of his hand and made Speed Wolf fall down. No need to hurry, wait a bit, I will absorb all of you soon. His whole body fell down with a thud. At that moment, Duan Fei rushed to attack the old man. He said softly with his head down, You seem very confident in yourself, huh? He seized the opportunity and hit him in the stomach, making him grit his teeth in pain. He grabbed his hand and could only say, It doesn't hurt at all, I'll take this arm of yours. He smirked with a hint of meaning. Then you have to hold on to it. He widened his eyes and looked down. His hand was full of fire burning fiercely. Nearby, the strange monsters rushed up at the same time in a swarm. Their team scattered to one place to attack them. A red beam like a laser hit a piece of rubble on the ground. They gradually appeared more and more. The red beams pointed to the sky in a circle around where they gathered. From above, a source of energy shone straight down, making everyone chaotic. A stream of ice flew up and that energy made them disappear. Xi and Yu timely used the ice sword to protect them. The demon woman was annoyed and thought, the power of this snake is really annoying. Phantom, don't stand and watch anymore, hurry up and get the key over here. The person she was referring to was also Hua Tu Lan. He was wary of Xi and Yu who was guarding himself. The plan was to rob it by force, but that was boring. He had a new idea, he intended to make them fight and kill each other to voluntarily hand over the key. Anna ordered the little Oriole to flap its wings and create a whirlwind that made those monsters fly around in the air. The demon woman was angry, I'm not interested like you. The important thing is to revive the king. She ordered the soldiers to go into battle. From inside the cave appeared various strange monsters. They looked very scary, with long heads and red eyes, tongues constantly sticking out as if they were about to eat alive. The demons appeared as much as ants, they quickly rushed to Emoduyat, scared by the large number of zombies like that. She muttered to herself to encourage herself, right now he is also fighting hard over there, we have to rely on ourselves. On Duan Fei's side, a large source of energy radiated out and burned fiercely. He stretched his hand towards the old man with a huge muscular body. He said from the fire, Do you think you can hurt me like that? Ridiculous. The fire just now had been quickly absorbed by him into his body. Duan Fei backed away. He stomped his foot hard and his whole body became like molten lava. He clenched his fists and threatened, I'll show you the gap between me and you. His mouth opened wide and fire roared out, die. The invisible hands appeared again around him from the sky, but this time they were lava. He quickly dodged to one side and the hand slammed down on the ground, spreading fire around. Duan Fei jumped up and flew far back. One side of his hand flew straight into the ground full of hot rocks. Then the other hand also followed one by one, running after the control of the old man. He took advantage of the pressure created by the heat of the flame that he had just used to compress his technique and attack the opponent. Finally, it will form a very large explosive force to shoot the rocks inside. He watched attentively and worriedly. As expected, the hand technique flew to him and he shouted angrily, Go to hell! 
the explosive force inside the hand made the rocks in it fly out. The ground was broken by them and cracked. He ran for his life and escaped. His feet stopped. Duan Fei was surrounded by lava flames from the rocks above and other rocks were falling down on him. He used his power to compress into a red force that burned fiercely. He swung his arm and hit him with an illusion like a bomb explosion. With his left hand, he summoned a weapon and his feet stood firmly on the ground. Then he used his strength to jump up high and swept through the fire like a black shadow. He was angry and spread his arms. His hands slammed together like clapping mosquitoes. He moved like a black whirlwind and approached him mockingly, is that all you know? He was horrified. He slapped his side hard. He groaned, his speed was too fast. After fighting with Speed Wolf, his strategy had really improved. When he mentioned Speed Wolf, he hesitated a bit. One of his hands swung up and collided hard, making the energy point at the wolf. The old man finally knew that this power was due to Speed Wolf's support and the key to his improvement. So when he attacked his body, Duan Fei would run to protect him. The boss said, sure enough, as I expected. Duan Fei was surprised by his mind, I didn't expect you guys to be able to do it with your own people. He answered very decisively, the final goal of us is only one, which is to revive the king at any cost. Not only Blaze Wolf but any one of us can sacrifice. Dealing with you is the biggest problem right now. Hearing him say that, Duan Fei grabbed Blaze Wolf and said, these beasts can't die like that. If they lose their attributes, it's hard to win. The old man started using his fist full of rocks in his palm to threaten him. He used his big and long hand to chase after the boy and asked, Do you think you can still fight with him? And Duan Fei held the wolf tightly and ran away. He answered, It's tough. Suddenly he let go of his hand and dropped Blaze Wolf to the ground while he was lifted into the air by that giant hand. The boy pushed all his strength into his hands and had to stop him. The old man with red eyes full of ferocity shouted, Die! He punched the boy down to the ground. Duan Fei thought too hard, they were not in a favorable place for him. He landed calmly on the ground. The boss began to plot and plan how to get close to him. On the ground, in his head, he also had a lot of worries about attacking from afar. He was just like a target. He left then what should Blaze Wolf do? His current goal was Blaze Wolf. The wolf Blaze Wolf slowly opened his eyes. He saw the boy's back faintly. That kid was still alive. He frowned and said, Damn it, being knocked out by him is humiliating. The cunning wolf thought of taking advantage of this opportunity to sneak attack and finish him off. The flying boy fought and asked, Are you awake? He continued, I advise you not to do anything stupid, hurry up and find a place to hide. Now your good teammate's target is you. He heard that as if a thunder struck in his ears. What? Could it be the giant hand of the boss? Rushing towards him? Making him very surprised? Fortunately, Duan Fei quickly pulled him back while he was startled. His hand missed the ground and caused a very large crack on the ground. The young man flew while running and said, Do you believe me now? The old man over there started to worry. Has he woken up already? That makes it harder to attack him. How is your second image? You should send some zombies to deal with the wolf. She wondered, what's the matter with the wolf? The boss answered, I'm not sure, but it seems that its power has been absorbed. Now it is being protected by that kid. She was silent for a while and then reported the situation. I understand. The front line here is not easy to break either. The strategy of the new team is quite strong. I will send a team to the old man's side. The images of the zombies with big chains on their bodies looked very scary. Zombie number 21 had joined the human side. When he saw the scene, he sneered and said, Come on, let's dance with thunder and lightning. He had a sturdy body, a scythe in his hand, and his body was full of momentum. 
this was what he had been looking forward to. The commander and the human team announced, there are a lot of zombies coming. Be careful. A bunch of zombies with hungry faces were approaching. The young man reassured and commanded everyone, get ready to face those zombies. Don't panic. Keep the formation tight and narrow the defense range. Suddenly something flew across his eyes. It was a sharp crystal snowflake. It flew like a whirlwind. It was Xian Yu who used her skill to attack the zombies. The snow crystal was very beautiful but it caused high damage. It flew fast like an arrow towards the evil ones below. A brilliant crystal rain was welcoming them. The commander couldn't believe what was happening. This terrifying damage power. Xian Yu fought bravely with the zombies alone. After a fierce attack, her power was only at level B. She fell to the ground. Anna saw this and asked worriedly, Are you okay? She reassured her, It's okay, I'm just exhausted. I'll rest for a bit and I'll be fine. Ma Long thought about the girl's power, she's just a girl but she has such a terrifying power. How strong is that kid's team? A giant zombie monster was about to attack him. Suddenly there was a scream that woke him up. Team leader Ma Long, be careful. He was more worried, that's it, I was distracted and couldn't escape anymore. A loud bang, the zombie attacked fiercely forward, shaking the ground and creating an explosion. Ma Long slowly woke up after the hit. He said weakly, I'm still alive. He remembered that someone had appeared to save him during the fight. He was saved by a zombie. He had many questions in his head. After the squad of war gods joined, some zombies appeared to help them fight. What was going on? Anna suddenly shouted, interrupting Ma Long's thoughts. You, get out of the way. He was confused and didn't know what was happening. The girl said the zombies were coming from over there. She used her power to stop them from getting close. The zombies that were attacking fiercely suddenly stopped. One of the monsters among them said they couldn't get close. It yelled Anna's name and then turned to attack the zombies that were approaching the girl. The fight between the zombies and the monster was intense and breathtaking. Ma Long was surprised and thought that the kid's power was to control zombies. Were all the members of that brat's squad monsters? The girl next to him kept cheering. Come on! Don't let them get any closer. The monster obeyed and protected Anna. One step of his could crack the ground. His legs started to bleed, but in his mind he always thought of Anna. The best person in this world. A long scream that seemed to tear apart the scene. The girl worriedly said 41, be careful. The zombie number 41 said I will never let you touch Miss Anna. An angry roar from the monster blew away everything around. Ma Long felt ashamed. He was supposed to be the strongest strategist in the Flame Emperor base, but he let a zombie and a kid protect him. It was humiliating. This time it was his turn to protect them. As for the Wolf King, he was fighting with the zombies sent by the boss. In front of him now was a whole squad of zombies. It seemed that they really wanted to deal with him. What should he do? He was running out of strength. The zombies rushed towards him like arrows. The Wolf King glared and said you bunch of trash, you wanna fight me? You are insulting me. He slid away and dodged quickly. Another person attacked him and stunned him. That person's skill was not simple. He kept attacking continuously, making him dodge from side to side for a long distance. It turned out that it was Mirage Lady. He angrily said this time it's your turn, huh? Mirage Lady smiled lightly and said what can you do? I didn't expect you to have so much strength left. Don't blame me for being ruthless. I'm just following orders. The Wolf King looked at her and said to everyone why don't we join forces and deal with him? Isn't that better? She replied disdainfully. That sounds good, but it would be more time and energy efficient to deal with you first. Your failure has made us lose face. 
the Wolf King also said coldly then there's nothing more to say. I don't want to die in your hands like this. Mirage Lady said arrogantly you don't have a choice. You have no resistance now. Countless rays of light attacked him. Damn it, how could these things hurt me before? He replied to her saying, let me suffer a little bit of this pain then. A spiral drill appeared and the Wolf King was tied up below, waiting for death. She was above him and said next will be your heart. The situation was critical, only one millimeter away from his skin being pierced by the drill tip. But Duan Fei arrived in time to stop it and save his life. Neon said that the boy's skillful sword dance had cut off the rope that tied the old wolf. He gestured with his hand for the old man to retreat while fighting the wolf and asked, Are you really attracted by my power? He answered, At this point, you still care about that issue? Even if you regain your power, do you think you can go back to the previous relationship with them? A big hand appeared and made them panic. Duan Fei moved his leg to the right of the old wolf and then jumped on the hand that slid across the boy and the old wolf. The evolution tree appeared and said, fighting two original species at the same time and still having to protect him. The situation is getting worse and we have to get out of this situation quickly. The boy replied, I know that too. Protecting him is the most important thing right now. If I lose this ability, I might not have another chance to steal the attributes of the character. The wolf frowned and wondered, what the hell is that? The evolution tree on the zombie side spoke up, as the boss said, I can feel the breath of the king on this kid. Neon didn't believe it. How could this kid have anything to do with the king? Maybe I was hit so hard that I had a hallucination. No, that's not right. The feeling just now was very real, not like a hallucination at all. If that's true, then the king that we always wanted to revive. Suddenly, a stone's watermark emitted a strange light. Illusion screamed, what is this? A fierce eye is looking at us. Duan Fei jumped up and thought in his heart that with his current ability, he might be able to deal with this original species. As long as he could handle it, everything behind would be easy. His skillful sword dance looked very impressive. Illusion was scared and clenched her teeth. He was too fast. If he got close, she would be at a disadvantage. She had to retreat. She was shocked to find that he had grabbed her rope. His hand clenched and the fire of anger erupted again. The rope covered with hot fire was approaching her neon. Danger was getting closer. Duan Fei roared like a god and made her unable to resist. A powerful energy source slammed into the ground. His two hands dragged a long fire trail and he rushed straight down. The fist of the giant hand suddenly appeared and blocked his way. The old wolf standing outside also felt dazzled by the intense fight. He felt Duan Fei's power through the battle. The kid had become so strong. He realized and praised himself. He had his own power to become stronger like that. Surely he was also strong like that, right? Yes, surely it was like that. The fierce battle in the air was still going on. Neon stood below and watched and thought about the kid. No matter how strong you are, you can't fight both of us alone. She began to use her move. Duan Fei said earlier that he was alone, but now he wasn't anymore. A light flashed and a long fire trail ran across the ground. It turned out that Kim Bao had come to help him. Thank you Kim Bao. Kim Bao rode him on his back and looked like a beast. He said, luckily you can feel my breath. The puppy also barked in response. The old wolf looked at them and exclaimed, wow, they are so big. Duan Fei gave a task to the puppy Kim Bao. He said, you take the original species girl and go. Ensure her safety during this time. It barked twice as if it wanted to say something. The boy understood and reassured me. Don't worry about me. You stay here, it's very dangerous. Only if you ensure her safety while I fight, can we have a chance to win this battle. The puppy obeyed and replied, woof woof. 
After that, the boy also rushed away. I entrust her to you. Kim Bao went to the front of the old wolf. It barked once and the old man understood. He said, okay. The puppy Kim Bao and the new wolf flew up to the sky. The old man asked, my friend wants to ask you a question. Are you also a wolf? The puppy was silent and thought, did he also lose his intelligence? At the human battlefield, the permanent correspondent had landed on the ground and reported. Dear viewers, the current situation is out of control. A large number of zombies are constantly attacking our human line of defense. Our soldiers are falling one after another. The monster with the shape of a scorpion is aiming at its next prey. That is the reporter himself. He trembled and said, Now I am also in danger. This may be the last time I report to you. The monster opened its mouth wide and showed its sharp teeth like knives. It roared loudly. Fortunately, a two-legged zombie monster stopped the attack of the scorpion. His mouth stuttered and said, Zombie Zombie Xiao Du Gwen appears. He used his legs to grab the clothes of the cameraman and the reporter. The bird had hugged them and flew up high to avoid danger. They screamed, flying flying up. After bringing them to a safe place, Anna thanked Du Gwen. Thank you for your hard work. Du Gwen, you go over there and help. The two men were thrown down from high above and groaned in pain. The girl looked at them and scolded them with an angry and indifferent voice. She also entered the frame of the camera. Hey, you two, who are you? Do you know how dangerous this place is? The reporter wondered, what's going on? How come there is a girl here who seems to be able to command zombies? Quickly film me a scene description. Hurry up. Anna curiously leaned her face into the camera and asked, what is this? The guy answered, this is a camera. This thing can help us let everyone in the world know about the situation here. The girl was excited and asked innocently, everywhere in the world means everyone in the world will see me? The reporter answered, yes, that's right. Why are you here? Quickly introduce yourself to everyone. The girl's eyes sparkled and she said, wow, that's interesting. Introduce myself. I am Anna. I have my best friends Don Caca and Xianyu Jia Jia. Anna likes to eat French fries and drink soda. And also, the reporter interrupted her, wait wait wait, introducing yourself until here is enough. Tell me a little bit about why you are in this dangerous place. And just now it seemed like you could control zombies, right? Anna honestly answered. Anna came here with Don Caca and then found out that there are many bad guys here. A righteous person like Anna can't just stand by and watch. Anna can make friends with zombies and they will help Anna do things. Her zombie shouted once and then fell down. He quickly apologized, sorry Anna, I was careless just now. The girl ordered him sternly, you see it now, continue to rush up. The zombie answered, leave it to me. The boy saw this scene and reported it incredulously, I can't believe it's possible to communicate with zombies. The girl quickly reminded him, okay, uncle. You two should leave quickly. Anna has to go somewhere else to help. The evil dragon was attacked and pushed back by the zombie. The illusion looked at everything that was happening and said, the situation is going according to our plan. He looked at Xianyu's current strength and said, the frog's stamina is almost gone. A wicked smile appeared on his face. Actually, these things are not important. The most important thing is that the wolf is useless. The boss and the mirage are being blocked by that kid. Now I just need to go and resurrect the king, then all the credit will be mine without spending any energy. Hong Tu Lin walked over angrily and asked Phantom, Commander Hua, what is going on? Our army has lost contact. Wasn't the battle plan perfect? Tran Tu Lin added, We trusted you and let you lead the army. Now that things have turned out like this, how do you explain it? He turned around and answered, The reason for the current situation is that our plan was leaked. 
there is a traitor among us. They were both surprised and asked, what did you say? A traitor? Back to the girl Anna, she was standing in an old car instructing her zombie subordinates. Suddenly, a hand covered her mouth. Phantom replied, yes, I have found out who the traitor is. Back in the battle, number 41 fought hard and finally dealt with him. Let me go. The girl was startled when she heard his voice. It was Anna who was being captured by a group of mobile soldiers and taken somewhere. He covered her mouth and said, Commander Hua wants to see you. Listen to him. Suddenly, number 41 flew behind him and grabbed his neck and said, Harming Miss Anna is an enemy. Execute immediately. Anna stopped number 41 and said, Wait a minute. Number 41, let go of him and let me ask why he wants to catch Anna. He fell to the floor and coughed, Commander Hua said you are a spy and you are the one who controls the zombies to attack us. She denied it, no, Anna is trying very hard to protect humans. Those people who intervened may also be part of your plan. How do you explain that you can control zombies? That's right, how do you explain that? Anna said nonsense, it's true that I can control zombies but I don't make them attack humans. Now I will make them stop moving. But how can Anna's current strength be so strong? There was another sound of footsteps coming in. Move away. Commander Hua is here. She asked, are you the one who said I was a spy? Phantom squinted at her and said, yes, you don't have to pretend anymore. From the beginning until now, you have always controlled the zombies to make us run around in circles. It's you no matter how you disguise yourself or how perfect you are. Because you are not human at all but a zombie. Anna was angry, whether Anna is human or not has nothing to do with it. I like Duong CACA, Duong CACA is protecting you so I also protect you. The whole group of black soldiers surrounded her and stood still. They were not allowed to move or get close to the commander. The phantom blocked the way. What do you have to say now? He asked. La Duong said, Commander Hua, what are you doing? The zombies are getting closer to us. And you are still here causing internal strife? Phantom glanced at him. Commander La, you came at the right time. This kid is your person. Do you know that she is a zombie or is this all part of your plan? If so, the historical story of fighting against the Tri Dynasty might also be a drama that you staged yourself. La Duong was confused. What are you talking about? Even if we have conflicts, this is not the time to calculate that. Anna's contribution after joining the fight is clear to everyone. The others rejected his idea. We are like this because of the zombies. That's right, we can't be soft on zombies. Zombies must be destroyed, wiped out. They kept attacking her with words, hitting her small heart. In the sky, the beasts continued to fight. Kim Bao said, that's good, my brother. Phantom has started to touch the key. The wolf god rushed down to the ground. I have something to do, you go ahead and be careful, my brother. This was too strange. If the thing that revived was not the king, then it was a complete failure. Right now, I can't think too much about it. I had to survive. Next, I could only rely on myself. On this side, Phantom increasingly pressured Anna. Don't say I'm unreasonable. Because of this kid's special identity, I will take care of her for now until the war is over and we will deal with this matter later. He reached out to grab the kid but was blocked by number 21 and 41. One put a chain of thorns around his neck and one was ready to scratch his heart with claws. If you take one more step, you will suffer the consequences. Don't you dare get close to Miss Anna. The old man screamed, what is this? These two dirty zombies. His anger spread everywhere from him. Number 41 quickly told the girl to run fast. Because he realized that this old man was not easy to deal with, he had to run away to save his life. Number 21 stayed behind to buy time. Catch them for me. 
the soldiers with muscular bodies ran up to grab them. They got hit by 21's electric chain. He gritted his teeth and held them back. Damn it, deal with this one first. Anna called out, Number 21, turn back to your original form. He shouted back, Forget it, I need to stop them here. Number 41 will explain the reason to you. Anna shed tears. Did he want to sacrifice himself? He had to face more than a dozen generals and also the old man Phantom alone. Even though his lightning was very strong, it was not easy with this number of enemies. After a while of chaos, they seemed to have won. Commander, are you okay? How dare this thing try to stop me? Keep chasing them for me. Number 41 ran with his owner on his back. Miss Anna clung tightly to me but things didn't go as they wanted. They were blocked by a group of zombie beasts on the way as if they were following Phantom's orders. Number 41 still rushed forward. He waved his hand and cut a path through the zombies. Miss Anna, did you hear what I said? I said that Commander Hua is not a human. Number 21 sensed a kind of breath on him that is exactly like the reindeer. He is a primordial parasite. He transformed into a human shape and deceived everyone. If he is the leader of the humans, then it is very likely that this battle was arranged by him. The main purpose is to make humanity extinct. Anna was doubtful. What are you saying? Then we are in trouble. We have to tell everyone quickly. Who knew that the old man Phantom had caught up with them long ago? He said viciously, I knew you saw me, but don't you have enough power to keep this secret from me? Not saying anything, huh? Then I'll take it as you agree. Number 41 was caught off guard. Anna opened her eyes wide and saw the old man stab number 41 with his sword. She shouted, Number 41, hurry back to the original space. As soon as she finished speaking, she took number 41 away in time. Number 41 was extremely confused and couldn't do anything against his master's will. Phantom still held his sword and turned to Anna. I didn't expect you to have this kind of ability. It's useless. He's so badly injured that his death is only a matter of time. With your current power, you can't control me at all. Just obediently follow me. A wave of pressure flew from somewhere and scared him. A girl stood in front of Anna. This person was Xian Yu, who else could it be? Anna said, Sister Xian Yu, be careful. He is a primordial parasite. He disguised himself as a human and fooled everyone. It's really annoying. There's no way out but to kill him. Xian Yu hesitated for a moment. A human officer turned out to be a primordial parasite in disguise. She activated her ice sky and said loudly, Why are you targeting Anna? Phantom swung his sword to block the ice and replied, I have no obligation to answer you. She looked him in the eye and said, The purpose of your group is to resurrect your king. Phantom realized that the reindeer told them, right? The two engaged in close combat and she said, and you disguise yourself as Commander Hua and bring all the troops here. It must have something to do with resurrecting the king. Wait a minute, could it be that Anna is also part of your plan? Phantom didn't hide anything anymore and showed his true face. You figured it out, huh? That's right, this kid is the key to breaking the seal. Even if you know, it's useless. You can't do anything anymore. As long as the king comes back, this world will be ours. Humans like you will become our food. Xinu was stunned and speechless. She couldn't believe everything had come to this point. But her strength was not equal to his. Sister Xinu, are you okay? Phantom continued his evil words, everything you're doing is futile. Your fate has been decided long ago. At the same time, Ma Long came over and asked Commander Hua what was going on. He turned his face and said, I found out that this kid is a zombie, an insider planted among us humans. After being discovered, he tried to run away. Ma Long glanced at the kid and didn't believe it, 
but he didn't dare to argue either. What? The kid is a zombie? How could that be? Just now he saved me. Anna shouted from afar, that's not true. This Commander Huat is a zombie. You've all been fooled by him. He wants to kill you all. Come with me quickly. There was another strange appearance. Everyone was surrounded by circles of pressure and the ground shook slightly. What's going on? Why is my body so heavy? I am Jia Hao and Lai Fong. We are sorry for being late. X I and you, are you two okay? The two girls were happy that they finally arrived. X I and you said, hurry up and tell your brother the purpose of our group. It is Anna. Commander Hua is a purebred zombie. Lai Fong replied, I understand. Jia Hao, you quickly take them away. I will go find Duan Fei. Phantom turned pale. Our carefully planned scheme has been ruined by you. None of you will escape from here. La Duan was shocked. What did you say? Commander Hua is a zombie? Ha Ka continued, that's right. The other teams were led to a place like a sacrificial altar. Then they all died. Our team was not affected by the trap. Then the soldier who always followed Commander Hua appeared and wanted to force us to go there. She is also a zombie. This is crazy. How can this be? What should we do now? We only have so few soldiers left. How can we fight him? The person who always let us turned out to be a zombie. The situation is very unfavorable for us. The old men discussed heatedly. But they did not know that behind them, a whole army of zombies was approaching menacingly. There was no way to escape. We could only try our best to stop them. We only had one chance of winning, our war god, Duan Fei. They hoped for him, but could he handle these two special zombies? He had also consumed a lot of energy. He did not expect that there was still such a strong human being. Duan Fei attacked swiftly. Do you still have time to chat? He grabbed the female zombie and thought quickly, where did this strength come from? He slammed her down to the ground. The male zombie wanted to save his partner and attacked with a fiery fist. Die, you bastard. He activated his ability to absorb energy from the female zombie. She cursed, damn you, you despicable human. She tried to use her skill of spider silk to tie his right arm. Boss, he can't move anymore. She signaled the one behind to attack harder. He replied, good job. Then he threw a punch of farewell. Lai Fong suddenly appeared and blocked a blow for Duan Fei, but the power of the other was too great. Lai Fong could not hold on for long. He glared and said, die. Duan Fei felt uneasy and wanted to turn around and help Lai Fong, but he was stuck with this annoying woman. He used fire to burn the silk that entangled him and said, let go of your claws. She screamed and tried to poke his eyes, but failed. Lai Fong escaped and looked around. This is too dangerous. And Duan Fei, why are you here? What is that over there? Duan Fei's shadow clone answered, that is my shadow clone after I upgraded my assassination skill. But never mind that now. Why are you here? This place is very dangerous. Lai Fong gasped and said, oh yes, I came here to tell you that Commander Hua is a purebred zombie and an important factor in resurrecting their king, Anna. Duan Fei was confused. What did you say? Anna the resurrection factor? What about Law Commander and the others? Do they know about this? Ha Ka had told everyone already. Xinu's group was protecting Anna, but their power was limited. They were not his match. A huge hand slammed down where they were and made a terrifying sound. It seems that you already know everything, huh? Then don't even think about leaving this place. Lai Fong, you quickly get out of here and take Anna with you. I will deal with this and come right away. Lai Fong obeyed and said, Okay, be careful. That hand slammed down on the ground, 
causing the rocks to shatter and smoke and fire to fill the air. The zombie-like creature covered its face and said, Damn, these two are so annoying. Suddenly, Duan Fei emerged from the black smoke, his eyes sharp as blades, and said, Your plan has been exposed. So what? The creature replied. As long as I stop you here, the resurrection on the other side will be completed soon. Then you will be dead for sure. Duan Fei ignored him and said, I will not let that happen. I will solve this problem with my fists. The creature fought back and said, Who gave you the right to decide? The fate of human extinction has been predetermined. Everything you are doing is futile. You cannot change destiny. Duan Fei gritted his teeth and said, My destiny changed from the moment I came back. Destiny is always something that the weak have to accept. You are the one who has to accept your fate. He prepared to launch his final move, but it seemed that the creature was still alive thanks to the help of the female demon. She supported him with a thread and asked, Boss, are you okay? He was saved by the thread, so is but was still intact. He answered, I'm fine, thanks to you. Duan Fei did not stop. He rushed forward like a ball of fire. The old zombie was scared and used all his strength to block him as much as he could. What kind of power is this? Is this kid a monster? A few seconds later, a beam of light pierced through his golden hand and hit the old evil zombie directly. But he still had another trick up his sleeve. He pulled the female demon closer and tried to use her as a shield. Duan Fei's arm pierced through her chest. She shivered and looked at him with disappointment. Why? He answered, everything I do is for our king. Don't worry, when he resurrects, he will avenge you. Duan Fei clenched his teeth and said, too bad I couldn't kill that old bastard in this battle. Damn this beast. The zombie raised his voice and said, you should worry about yourself first. He said that and left without looking back. Don't pretend. How can a blow like this hurt you? I don't know what you are planning to do, but I won't let you have a chance to sneak attack me. Anyway, dragging out time will benefit me. Under the ground, a purple-blue aura emerged. He did not understand what was happening until it released a stream of electricity and lightning. Duan Fei stepped out and said with a victorious tone, You should thank your suspicious nature for giving me time to absorb the original life seed. This time it is really your end. He did not expect Duan Fei to complete the absorption so quickly and increase his level by 5. His overall strength had surpassed his level with level 28 strength, level 27 agility, level 18 exploration, and level 7 spirit. He continued, Level B is right in front of me. About 15 minutes ago, the fake Commander Hua was exposed. He was actually Phantom, an original life form. He was annoyed and said, Wouldn't it be better if you obediently listened? You could have lived a little longer. Why do you like to mess with my play? Jia Hao was helpless and said, This guy is too strong. We have so many people but we can't even scratch him. Ma Long was surprised and said, I can't believe Commander Hua was actually a zombie in disguise. Phantom revealed his true form with a blood-red body and a pair of wings behind him. He sneered and said, Now you know it's too late. You humans are really stupid in a pitiful way. But I have to thank you for playing with me. Phantom had level B ability of regeneration and level A ability of illusion transformation. He could freely change his appearance. Ma Long asked angrily, What did you do to Commander Hua? Then he answered, Oh, let me think. In your human terms, he has sacrificed himself. Before he died, he was very loud. He said something like humans will not forgive you. Now that I think about it, it's still funny. How stupid do you have to be to believe that humans have a future? Ma Long was furious. He attacked and shouted, You filthy beast! The zombie said, Yes, yes, that's the face. It's exactly the same as the useless scream of that old man. As soon as he finished, he waved his hand lightly. 
he made a big slash on Ma Long's body. He pushed him away. Jia Hao ran to help him and advised, calm down a bit. Ma Long said angrily, let me go. I have to kill this beast. I actually obeyed the orders of the beast who killed Commander Hua. He also indirectly killed two of my brothers. And now I can't do anything. The zombie had appeared behind Anna at some point.